Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Buckeye Sports Now. I'm Colin Hassel and here is this week's top sports news. On Saturday, most Ohio State fans were locked into the opening football game, a 77-10 win against Bowling Green. But two other Buckeyes teams, the women's volleyball and field hockey teams, also played their first home games of the season. Ohio State's women's volleyball team entered the weekend with a 3-0 record, ranked 13th in the nation. They began play on Friday in the Sports Imports DC Coal Classic, their second of four early season tournaments. Lantern TV reporter Colin Gay covered Friday night's game and spoke to senior middle blocker Taylor Sandbothy about playing under the lights of Nationwide Arena, the same building that will host the Women's Volleyball National Championship. Playing under those lights is something our team's been talking about for a really long time. Playing in this venue is incredible. It's an incredible opportunity for our team, incredible opportunity for our city. In the first game of the day, the Buckeyes swept LAU Brooklyn in three sets, handing them their fourth loss in a row to start the season. Sandbothy and the Buckeyes breezed through the game, not allowing the Blackbirds to lead after the 11th point in any set. Later that night, Ohio State played Wyoming, a team that beat OSU last season. Out of the gate, the Buckeyes struggled, having to call timeouts in both the first and second sets. But in both sets, the, the Buckeyes rebounded to win, also taking the third set 25-16 en route to a second sweep of the day. Well, Wyoming's a really good team. We lost them last year. They, um, they're a very strong team, so they, yeah, I've been nervous about this match. So I was really happy with how we played tonight. Ohio State's field hockey team hosted 7th ranked Wake Forest on Friday in their first of three games in the annual Buckeye Invitational. The Buckeyes fell to the Demon Deacons by a score of 4-2 as Wake Forest jumped out to a 4-0 lead, scoring all four goals in the first half in a nine-minute span. Looking for their first win of the season after starting off the year with three straight losses, the Buckeyes played host at Ohio University on Sunday afternoon. I'll send it over to Lantern TV's Mackenzie Janak, who is at Buckeye Varsity Field for the in-state showdown. I'm at Buckeye Varsity Field covering women's field hockey where they just picked up their first win on Sunday. They played rival Ohio University and won the game 3-0. Maddie Humphrey was the leading scorer, scoring two goals on Sunday, while fellow Buckeye Esner Alsina scored the other goal. Ohio State's defense only allowed a season low of five shots. The Buckeyes look to take advantage of home field in their next game on Wednesday, September 7th, against UC Davis at 3 p.m. The Buckeyes had a great defensive game, allowing zero points. Covering for Lantern TV, I'm Mackenzie Janak. Thanks, Mackenzie. On Wednesday, OSU field hockey won its second game in a row, this coming against UC Davis in a 2-1 victory. Freshman Adelaide Penzone scored late in the second half to put the game away. You can head to Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium this Friday to catch both women's and men's soccer in action. At 5, the women's soccer team takes on Texas after a tough loss to West Virginia, and right after, the men's team will take the field for a 7-30 battle against Northwestern. After a 77-10 win over Bowling Green last week, the football team looks to repeat their success at 3.30 on Saturday, taking on the Tulsa Hurricane. The Ohio State field hockey team has their first win under their belt after beating OU on Sunday, and they're suiting up in hope to bring home another win against Miami on Monday. That's all from the sports desk. Make sure to tune in on Saturday and throughout the week for exclusive football coverage analysis, and stay tuned for next week's Buckeye Sports Now. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and give us a like on Facebook. Thanks for watching.